Hey everyone, I'm Armory Gaming, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. So if you saw the previous episode, you would know that I said that in this episode we are going to be doing live duels. So here's the thing that in my personal opinion, I truly believe that you really don't need to go out of your way to get any of these rare monsters or uncommon monsters, like you're really not going to need them. I don't think you should devote that much effort to them. So currently I am breeding an epic monster just because I had the time right, I didn't need to make any more panicans. I'm like, I might as well breed an epic. So that's going on right now. But really, I think the majority of players, you aren't going to need legendary monsters. Like, yes, you could legendary gold farm by do, by making some of the breedable legendary monsters, Vada Magma, Rakantium, Thorder, and, and so, or maybe the new generation of breedable legendaries. But if you want to be a competitive Monster Legends player, like, you're going to need mythic monsters, let's be honest. So, if you listen to my advice, I think maybe after the first month, or in that first month, you should be able to get one or two mythic monsters. And then after that, you're probably going to be banking like four mythic monsters a month or three mythic monsters a month so legendary monsters you don't really need but if you're a new player i think one of the best events you can do is the live duels and specifically the classic duel because in the classic duels you get to try out like 59 different legendary monsters you get to construct your own team and then try to beat other players and they're all scaled to level 100 they all have the same um they all have access to the same um, skill sets and runes so it's ultimately up to you to decide the best team so i highly recommend you guys play this every single day on your new account if you have a new account because in order to play there you all you have to do is get these silver duel tickets and then you can play the classic duels so you literally get one free one every day and the best thing about the, the live duel as well is the rewards if you lose let's say you don't win anything you still get food and food is super valuable but if you manage to win let's say you get all six wins you get 150k food that is a lot of food and you get a 1.5 million if we take a look at not that if we take a look at pvp battles multiplayer leagues take a look the 150k food this is equivalent to getting silver three league so i highly recommend you guys do live duels it's going to be a great way for you to try out legendary monsters without even having to devote time and resources into getting them that's pretty awesome so right now um i'm going to use this team i don't have any attacker so i need to run i need to run some i need to run some damage over time skills so we'll do the aoe drowned um, possession to a single enemy that might come in handy um i like that skill do i need trade disable probably not then again trade disable might come in handy all right so we're gonna do this uh, what do you do you can do stamina drain i think 100 stamina drain 100 stamina drain another aoe possession i don't think i need two aoe possessions poison add stamina extra turn skill yeah we'll try this all right, so yeah, I highly recommend you try the classic duel. I think for newer players who don't have access to monsters, like this is literally going to be one of the funnest events for you guys. Like just the fact that I get to, like when you're an old, when you've played the game for a long time and you have mythic monsters and you have war masters and you know what the meta is, um, lots of the old legendary monsters become so boring that you never want to try using them. But it's so cool to be playing with these old monsters and it's like, oh, Side Lotus, I remember when he first came out and I really enjoyed him. Kihaku, I remember when he dominated the game. So I, I think this is definitely a really good opportunity for newer players to get the experience of legendary monsters when they're not ruined with the meta. And then it's it's cool because it is RNG and you never know who you're gonna run into. So you have to try to plan for everything. So even if you have no experience with these legendary monsters, it's a good way to just jump right into it and expose yourself to them and seeing what kind of stuff you can come up with. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend you guys do live duels every single day that you can it is it is awesome it is it is really fun i've been enjoying doing the live duels um here let's do this and it's pretty much gg you'll die with dot freeze damage recharge i will do last not last breath i will drain your stamina oh opponent left the battle all right so i already have my first victory and I, I went ahead and changed my name to armor mini i figured i might as well so now even if i lose the next two battles i'll still get food and gold and by the way, this is a good way to stack up on elemental cells. So I'm going to try to go for the six wins. You guys should definitely try to go for the six wins. After playing here, you're going to expose yourself to what makes a good team, what makes a bad team. You're going to expose yourself to why did I make, why did I put team speed on this monster? What do team speed runes do? My monster went first. Why is that? What are these things? I don't want to make a video on stats yet and all of that because I really want you guys kind of just to jump into it and kind of just start playing around, expose yourself to this and just seeing where the game takes you because I think that's, that's the way it's the most fun. Like, look, my team is designed so that a certain monster goes first, so that certain monster can do a certain skill that does certain things to the enemy team. And then if if the enemy does 
like get hit with whatever I try to hit them with, it works to my advantage, as you can see. So that's my whole strategy, right? I want Kihaku to go first. So I as I could go ahead and explain like every legendary monster and everything they do. And you can always check out my old analysis videos. I, I think they're pretty much gonna be relevant considering if you're playing the game for the first time and you're using legendary monster for the first time, it's pretty relevant to look at the old analysis videos. Because you're not gonna be taking on War Masters, you're not gonna be taking on mythics or anything. At least in the classic duels. I and I, and I recommend you stay away from the grand duel and the master duel, whatever they're called. Stick with the classic duel. It's gonna be a ton of fun. And it's gonna be the best way for you to learn. So yeah, Grandmaster and Grand Duels, stay away from those. They cost gems to actually start. 30 gems, and the bad thing about those, here, let me show you. The bad thing about the Grand Duel is that the available monsters, look, these are the more meta monsters, right? The problem is you're not going to be as experienced with those. And then the Grandmaster Duel, you have to select monsters that you have. Clearly, you're not going to have anyone, and these are also some of the more meta monsters. So, start with a classic, expose yourself to this, it's completely free, you get one a day. And again, the Grandmaster Duel, 30 gems a day. Not If you want to play it, not fun, not fun whatsoever. You should be saving your gems right now, you shouldn't be spending your gems on anything. Let's go back into our classic duel, and let's see how far our team can take us. Let's see. Who are we going to face? We're facing Ingenica Copycats and sting west claw like i said it is it is fun to see these monsters copycat why are you not going first oh because you're running all strength so just keep in mind that you can change the runes all right i'm gonna try to do possession and freeze and i landed possession and i landed freeze not on copycat but that's fine copycat i can't do the implosion skill so i should be fine elders and dragons hey that's my skill that's my kihaku skill i am gonna do well i want to do trade disable because you are immune to possession and I want to definitely possess you all right what are you gonna do sting Westclaw? Ooh, you attacked copycat ouch that must have hurt we're gonna do the possession of free skill again all right got possession on Ingenica we are gonna drain stamina from the monster sting Westclaw, so he can't attack me I am gonna do this skill to do life regen and stamina regen and then I'm gonna apply drown to the enemy team so opponent left the battle and we successfully have three victories already i don't even have a loss yet so like i'm saying if you learn how to play the game and obviously i have a little more knowledge so i know what how to ruin my monsters and everything um getting that food is gonna help out getting that gold is gonna help out a lot and you're gonna be you're gonna be a level like 20 player with a really cool avatar limited time avatar that you only win if you get six victories so that's what i'm shooting for in this video let's hope i can do it frostbite montezuma and um, oh my gosh, I am having so much fun playing this. Because, yeah, let me just tell you, when, once you start getting yourself exposed to some of the newer monsters, you do lose some of the fun, I'll be honest with you. Once every single base you face is a Worm Lad Ragnarok, it's like, ha, huh, when is it going to end? Alright, let's do Sap Thirst on the monster that didn't get denied. Give me your stamina. Bam. Alright, we are going to do Drowned or Rip Faraday. What should I do? What should I do? Drowned or let's see. I want to be able to freeze this monster, so we're gonna trade disable Montezuma. Montezuma has a trait that makes him immune to freeze and not yeah, no, immune to yeah, freeze and stun. So now whenever a monster is immobilized, they get that immunity. So now he's immune to possession. This monster immune to freeze, so they're essentially gonna swap swap. Swap swap? So now Frostbite is gonna be possessed and Montezuma is gonna be the monster that oh he was supposed to get denied too i thought he was gonna get frozen i guess somehow he got back the mountain trait but see mountain immunity to stun and freeze and yeah, that doesn't matter i am gonna go ahead and go for oh possession i don't need to do the possession skill but it deals a lot of damage so i'm gonna go for montezuma i am gonna do ooh i am gonna do what should i do 50 percent um makosu i'm gonna do this because i have a possession skill that i can use on frostbite so check this out applies possession to all out to our enemies so possess frostbite again and this whole time i've been dominating the team piercing rainfall you know what maybe i should probably make a video on like strategy for this so that you guys can win the six battles and get your cool avatar and everything that way you don't need to have like a panned off avatar one left the battle we are at four victories i still have no losses this is a ton of fun May what i recommend for any long-term plays out there Maybe you should make a baby account, get it to level 20, and just, or I guess you could always do the live duels on your main account, right? I don't know, there's just something about, 
Maybe it's the fact that on this baby count, because I don't have legendary monsters, it's fun that I have a way to use them. Maybe that's what I'm really enjoying. Um, maybe I should bring the single target skill. Maybe that would be more helpful. Um, possession blocked. Yeah, so let's see what happens here. This is going to be bad. He's going to do Elders and Dragons against me. No. All right. That's fine. I'm going to... I can trade disable. I can do drowned. What should I do? Maybe we should trade disable Timerion. He's probably going to... I'm going to trade disable Copycat. Timerion is probably going to do space time. Watch. Oh, quicksand. That was powerful. That's an attacker. All strength, I bet. Yep, all strength. All right, watch the Marion do space time. Oh, loop damage. I was not expecting loop damage. Um, I could remove it with this skill. Um, but I'm actually just going to go for this and hope everything works out in my favor. Let's see. Possession blocked. Thank you for not getting possessed. Oh, the quicksand was too strong. That's too strong. And unfortunately, I spoke too soon. My first loss, Cuppy Implosion. I, I'll go ahead and leave the battle. So, edit team. So, I've, I've been thinking about doing this. It, maybe it is to my benefit to run a single cooldown scale. I really didn't use Mokosu as much as I would have thought I would have used it. So, I am gonna... Oh, wait a minute. Why was I running this one? Which one do I normally run? This one's Swamble. 50% uh, chance. This one deals damage. Oh, Katsu Jinkin. That's always the one I used to run. Alright, let's put that one in again. And let's put in, all right, where is it? The single, is it a, this one, right? Yes, deals moderate special damage. Yeah, so this is the same as like Elders and Dragons, essentially. All right, let's try this again. We need to win two more victories. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this one, unless they're running all team speed. Then I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this one. Yep, awesome. Easy, easy. So, watch. I'm going to go for the Katsu Jinkin, since I know Krampus can't do anything, even if something was to happen. So, luckily, he got possessed. Let's see what he does. Recharge. That's fine with me. Again, when a monster doesn't get denied, that's where I go in for the Sap, sap Thirst. Give me your stamina. And then I can trade disable if I need to. This monster can be possessed. Well, now he can, because I trade disabled him. Awesome. Uh, recently, immune to possession. So, I can freeze Krampus next turn. This monster can now be possessed. And this monster... I can probably deny him with anything or control him. So let's see. Opponent timed out. So victory. I would have won anyways regardless of whether it was a timeout or not. So that's fine. And we are in our last battle. Let's hope we can win this last one. It would be a really great way for an episode to end off with my with my very first time recording the live duel. It being a complete victory. That would be awesome. And based on the monsters, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to win. If anything, I'm assuming Tiger probably has a strength rune. So I'm going to go first. Watch. Oh, how did I know? I think maybe players don't know that they can switch out the runes. So now you guys watching this video, you're at a huge advantage because you know that you can swap out the runes. So we are going to go for possession and freeze on you. We're going to single target you. We are going to go for... Hmm. What do we want to do? We're going to go for sap thirst, I guess, on Taiga because I don't want him to attack me. And then drowned rip far day. We're going to go for rip far day. So trade disable. That way Montezuma, I want to be able to possess him next turn or freeze him or both. Probably going to be both. This monster is going to be possessed next turn because he's immune to freeze. And this monster, I can't do anything. So, ooh, that's actually going to... Oh! I forgot you had a possession skill! Oh, no. Oh, no, I forgot. I forgot Montezuma had possession. Oh, this is what happens when you don't play with old monsters in a long time. I'm going to get CDA right now. Ooh. Okay, the good thing is... Gyaku has a zero cooldown skill, so good thing I put it in, right? If not, that, that would have been bad. So let's hope I can possess. So I freezed. I didn't. Okay, so Taiga's going to kill me right now. Oh, man, I really wish I would have landed possession on Taiga and Montezuma. That would have been nice. Montezuma also has an AoE possession skill. Okay, I'm not winning this. Oh, how could I mess up so badly? That's a two-turn possession. Mega possession. Tiger's gonna like turn invisible or he's gonna hit me with an AoE bleed. Oh gosh, let's see. Hitting kill, yep, watch. Oh no, he just went for the powerful attack. Please don't Katsu Jinkin, thank you. Alright, if I get to if I get to go with I have a possession skill, so as long as I stay alive. Oh, it's still it's still probably gonna be on cooldown though. Oh man. Dungeon Master can also do a total blind. Roll the effect. No, I lost my monster! Adds 100% of stamina to an ally. Man, that doesn't do anything. Recharge. Recharge. Against my own team, Freeze. Oh, I'm losing this battle. I was so close. 
It's seriously odd because I forgot that Montezuma... Like, honestly, what I should have done was I should have possessed Montezuma. Taiga, let's be honest, wouldn't have been able to kill me. He really couldn't have, even with all that strength. But I figured, like, oh, Mont I literally thought the only thing Montezuma could do was poison. I forgot he had single possession. And again, good learning experience for everyone watching this video. Um, you're not going to know what every legendary monster does. You can check out my analysis videos. You can check them up on the Monster Wiki. You can research them. I highly recommend you do that because if not, you, you're going to end up losing a battle that you could have probably won. So that's what I was thinking he was going to do. Acid, his acid slime. All right, which is, we'll wait for him to beat me. And good job. Seventh Heaven Knight. Really good job. And unfortunately, I only made it to five. So I didn't get that. Oh my gosh, look at the difference between five wins and six wins. 37.5k to 150k. 375k to 1.5 million gold. Oh my goodness. Uh, nonetheless, I will claim the rewards. And I get to select cells. I am going to do dark cells. And awesome. Got my cells, got my gold, got my food. Collect. And if I want to play again, I can play again, right? Because I have four out of eight. So never do the five gems. Always just do the four tickets and then just select your team what do i want to run what do i want to bring let's do a taijin and the cool thing is you can do different strategies too um let's do a hackster and let's do a who let's see egg eater he can possess um isofex can be an attacker but also has possession sentinel i believe is a denier i don't know why he has strength runes so if you're wondering how to swap your runes you go to right here edit team you can swap skills and you can swap runes. So, for example, typically the way a monster, it, it kind of tells you a description of what they are. Light Anticipator Attacker, Metal Control Monster that can hack enemies, Dark Attacker that can buff himself and possess enemies. So, Control Monster, typically they have speed, that kind of gives an indication of their role. So, Hackster, his main thing is to go first because look, he can possess the enemy. He can do Corruption, he can do Stun. So, you want him to go first to try to possess an enemy monster so that's kind of his gimmick this monster is the perfect monster against like charmless and voltic because of the anticipation trait but we can make a whole video on that later so i just wanted to make a video about the duels it would have been really really cool to win but it is what it is with that being said i gotta make sure to collect my gold and then yeah we'll end with that so super excited i think after you guys see this video most of the videos you're gonna see are gonna be pretty much up to date so it's gonna be exciting to see like where i'm at on this account real time so once again, just to show you guys, as of the time recording this video, it is April 17th, and this event is going on, but like I've been saying multiple times, you have to get comfortable with the idea that you're not going to be able to do some of the events that long-term players are doing, which is completely fine. I am still pretty sure I'm going to get the Mythic Monster from the past, because I think I started with enough time to be able to get those points. I'm kind of just letting the challenges accumulate, and then once all of the weekly challenges are out, I think that's when I'm going to start doing them. And like some of these are going to be easy, right? Because by the, in seven days or five days when the next weekly challenge update, I'm going to be able to do a bunch of them at once. So my points are just going to skyrocket. And with that being said, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying and I will see you all next time.